Hey guys, Fuzzy here. Though I'm still in the process of discovering more of the game, my wife and I do not move to the next step unless we feel like our current level has been fine-tuned in all aspects with maximum efficiency, which brought us these 24 slots cooking stations. This is a primary cooking station, as you know, you can build a campfire at the earliest stages of the game. You might not need 24 slots initially, it will come in handy later. I will show you how to build the 24 meats cooking station, step by step, to get yours done in no time. It only costs wood and a campfire to make your cooking much faster, so why not? Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides and gameplays, so sit back, relax and enjoy. This has to be OCD perfect, not only to look good, but to save us as much space for cooking stations as possible. Start by creating a square of 4 2 meter wooden beams, centering the campfire in there. This step is very important, as it will help us with the second layer of stations on top and have a perfect alignment grid. Now that our campfire is centered, remove 3 beams and add the first cooking station in the middle by comparing it to the bottom stones and making sure it's parallel to the remaining beam. Carefully add three more stations on one side by monitoring the color of the build. After that, feel free to add one meat to the last one to ensure it's still within the campfire's range. If not, that means the first station isn't centered correctly, or gaps between these three are further than they should. Now, we need to keep our grid intact, but still get it out of the way of our cooking stations. So add two more beams to keep a pivot in place, and then remove the first two, so we can clear out the area. Add three more stations on the other side, and test the last one again by adding one piece of meat. If it looks like this, five in the center and two lower stations on the sides, it means you are doing it right. You can start with these 7 stations and upgrade the same one to the second layer at a later stage as you go. The bigger the settlement or the team, the more stations you might need. And no, a third layer did not work. Even if you don't need 2 layers, the benefit of having 7 cooking stations on the bottom is if you have it in a fireplace location like this one, sometimes the meat will fall into the back or the bottom and will be harder to get. So by creating a lot of stations in a row, it will create a table top to the stations, causing the meat to stay up there then going back to the fire. Now comes the trickier part, which is why we kept our grid. Add the beams back as seen here. Then exclude them while keeping the remaining two on the cooking station's sides. Add a 1 meter vertical beam on each of the sides then connect them with 2 meter beams. It should look like this. Now, repeating what we did at the bottom, we can place the second layer of cooking stations also centered in comparison to the campfire stone. Zooming in all the way makes the situation much more manageable. Again, similar to what's done in the bottom, add more cooking stations on each side, but here I only added two on each side, as you can see the third one was out of range. Add some on the other side, and now we have 12 cooking stations giving us 24 slots. 7 on the bottom and 5 on top. Keep in mind, to refill the fire, you can still access it by looking at the starting station's bottom center and add wood from there. It's always better to start cooking on top so you can keep track, then move to the bottom ones by walking around it so you can access the stations from the side. And now we cooked all our meats plus one coal because I randomly spammed them around. Of course, you still need to protect that from rain if it's outdoors. And that is done by the simple 4 beams and a thatch roof above the current structure. If this was helpful, please consider subscribing so you can be notified of my upcoming Valheim videos. And make sure to invite me to your next barbecue session. Fuzzy here, thank you for watching and happy hunting.